Well, good morning. It is Friday morning and we've come to an end of our talk. And yes, we're talking about how fear dominates and fear has been dominating the lives of so many people, even Christians today. We find that fear has driven so many into a place of isolation. And the only thing that is going to bring us out of isolation is if we put our faith and our trust in God. So come on, we have to learn how to do that. So faith defeats fear, activate faith. (laughs) <laughs> that is what we're going to do. So the talk today is faith defeats fear, activate faith. You have to activate faith. How do I activate faith? By accepting Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of my life, allowing him to become part of my life by putting on the nature of Christ. You see, when David saw the isolation of Israel's army driven by fear, His response, listen to his response. Don't worry about this Philistine. I'll go and fight him. (laughs) That's what David did. He said, man, you guys, listen, don't be fearful about this giant. You know, in in, in my time of shepherding, I I faced the bear. I faced the lion. I brought them down uh, with my staff. But you know who my help, my strength came from? It came from God. He said, as a result of my faith and my my strength found in God, uh, this giant is no different to that what I faced in the field, looking after my father's sheep. Now again, if I will face a giant uh, uh, for you and to help you to set you free, then I'm not going to put my faith and my trust in what I am able to do. Not in my track record of of telling you, yes, I've killed a bear. Yes, I killed a lion. No, no, no. My faith is still in God and God will bring down this giant. I want to say to you, God is going to bring down this giant called Corona. This virus, again, I believe is going to fall. But we have to put our faith and our trust in God. Now, the moment David activated faith, God released heaven's army to take up their position behind him. Remember, this whole week I've been speaking to you about the psalm that he wrote, Psalm 23, where again he says, goodness and mercy follows us all the days of our lives. He must have reminded himself when he came onto the battlefield that God's army was behind him. And that's exactly who stood behind him. I I wonder, before Goliath fell, he must have seen the army that brought fear into his life before the stone hit him in the forehead, brought him down. And we know David was able to liberate the army of Israel. I believe again, Jesus has come to set us free. And again, we have to put our faith and our trust in God. You see, when you respond to your giant by stepping out in faith, fear runs because it sees the army of God behind you. Now, the moment David stepped onto that battlefield, Goliath was already defeated before the stone even left his sling. (laughs) Come on. I want to say to you again, as you look at this virus, as it stands before you, I want you to see it defeated. Now, again, it's not defeated in what you're able to do. It's not a defeated in this vaccine. I believe again, it can only be defeated through God and putting our faith and our trust in God because God sees all things, knows all things. Nothing has come about in this world without the knowledge of God. And again, we've got to put our faith and our trust in God that he can pull down and and he will pull down the strong man or or this, this, this giant Goliath virus that is before us and get us and come and allow the church to come back what it was before. And the church needs to come back strong. Again, hear what I'm saying. We can come back strong if we put our faith and our trust in God. You see, once <clears throat> once the Goliath once Goliath fell, the army which was isolated flooded onto the battlefield, defeating every Philistine that kept them in isolation. Notice what happened. As soon as the giant fell, the army of Israel, which was isolated on the sides of the mountain, left their hiding place, rushed down onto the enemy and defeated the enemy. I sense somehow in my spirit that we are going to come back as a mighty army in the last days that we are living in. Because I want to say to you, this is what we see happening around us is the last days. The Lord Jesus Christ is soon to return. And I believe he might return still in our lifetime because we see these things developing. 
happening, how the enemy uh, is trying to place all these things upon us because I know that he realizes his time is running out. And as a result of that, he will try everything in his power to destroy your faith and my faith. And we have to put our faith and our trust back into God. Now, this virus is just another Goliath that is keeping God's people isolated from each other through a spirit called fear. This spirit can only hold one captive or it can make one stronger by this releasing our faith back into who and what Jesus Christ did for you and I upon the cross of Calvary. Now, that stone placed into a sling was placed by faith. <laughs> he put it in. Man, he put faith in. It wasn't a stone, just, just a, a stone, but faith in his God that God would bring down that enemy. Now, I want to ask you, which spirit is in control of your life? Which spirit is taking control of your life? Faith or fear? Now, I want you to overcome fear by again accepting Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior into your life, by allowing Him to become part of your life, faith will grow and it will defeat fear. So until next time, stay strong, keep strong, and keep your faith alive in Christ Jesus. God bless.